Gotcha. And so right after this, this heat wave happened, there was a large glacier that was about the size of Los Angeles that broke off uh, from the ice shelf. Was this in any way connected to that heat wave or was this just something that, um, that happened to take place around the same time? So ice um, bird calving like we saw there, um, is the, they're large. This isn't titanic iceberg. This is tabular icebergs. They're huge, right? Um, so we were talking about some of them were the size of like 16 by 10 nautical mile size. It's huge, right? So these kinds of icebergs, there's a couple of different factors that go into their calving. And um, some of them are, are existing breaks or rifts inside the ice that have to line up just right. Um, in this case, this particular ice shelf was already in a weakened state. A lot of these ice shelves are collapsing due to the warmer ocean water coming underneath and kind of um, um, wearing them away from the underneath. So you already had something that was weak to begin with. So the trick now is just knowing did this little bit of extra warming was it the nail that, you know, the straw that broke the camel's hump. Is this all that it took to finish? Um, so my colleagues and I are having some discussions about that. It may very well be the case, but otherwise this was something that was probably destined to take place, that high shelf collapse. Um, was it just this little bit of warming that worked out to make it go, or was it coincidence is the hard part um, to kind of distinguish a little? Um, but it definitely makes you kind of wonder when you see that happen. And of course, this is about the time of year when some of the larger iceberg having seems to take place after we've had Right, they've finished their summer in Antarctica now. And so there, some of the iceberg calving that takes place, uh, at least the tabular, the big, huge icebergs, a little more commonly around this time of year.